Hello, my highly fanables. This is Derry. Welcome to episode 22 of the Danish Deleted December. Almost there, guys. Almost there. Don't worry. Daddy will be home soon. So this episode, we're gonna be taking a look at a very peculiar little project. You see, Danish really likes Doc Walker, the guy be behind classic figures like that guy with the glasses, the nostalgia critic, and last but not least, bum reviews. Danish has actually tried to make his own review so based on bum reviews multiple times, but this is the only recording that has actually um, survived. It's gonna contain a review of the visual novel called Sakura Spirit. It's a very weird novel. To say the least. You will hear it in the review. So, without further ado, let's hit it in the butt! Oh my god, this is the greatest game I ever played in my life! Da 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 spoilers! There's this guy called Takahashi Hachimemashita or whatever name they pulled out of the ass. And he wants to be a judo champion. So his friends tell him about a shrine that gives good luck. I gave good luck once. I used to wear a horseshoe with a Nike logo painted on it to fit in with the cool kids. But now that I think about it, they like me more for my myth than for my shoes. But anyway, so Takameones goes to this place where the lucky charms are and he begins to pray. But then a demon lady shows up and she's like, Are you a warrior? Well, I know a bit of martial arts, but Wait, I'm not- you're hired. So he wakes up in this forest, in a different dimension, where two sword-wielding girls are chasing after two foxy ladies. And no, that is not a pun. They have ears, a tail, and an inflated chest. I was a fox spirit once. I'm the most famous face at BronyCon. But it turns out that the samurai girls are chasing down the foxies because they have been terrorizing their territory for far too long. Oh, and they stole their panties. Yeah, that's the same reason why I can't go back to BronyCon. So Takarama decides to step up and help the furries. And because of this, he gets panties thrown square in the face. So he removes the underwear from his face and gets taken to prison for no real reason. Pfft, if I had a dollar for every time that has happened to me, I would be a rich man with a whopping $7.10. You do not want to know how I got that nickel, trust me. So now he is in prison for the barely amount of time of 5 minutes. And then the foxy ladies break him out and they escape into a cabin in the woods. He repays them by pushing the big sister into a river. And she's like, Help me, I can't swim! Don't worry, I will save you. Thank you so much. Well, it is a hero's duty to always save a damsel in distress. Do you want to have sex with me? Uh... So he goes to this temple where he meets this demon chick again. And no, not the devil chicken. Or maybe it was. I kinda lost focus after that scene where Mrs. Foxy goes to sleep next to Taka Man, completely naked. Excuse me one moment. Anyway, so a slime spirit appears in the village to wreak havoc and the before men can samurai girls come to defend the village. But Taka Pyro and the foxy ladies scare them off. And the samurai is like, thank you for helping us. Well, it wasn't a big deal. Oh look, the slime somehow removed my uniform! Uh! So now the foxy ladies are accepted in the village and the red-haired Tarama girl wants to learn judo lessons from Takahiro. In the rain. In a white tish- excuse me one moment. So after that they go inside the house and drink and eat and tickle each other senseless. Wow, if they were this bloody without alcohol I don't want to know how it ends. Okay, I'm totally lying. Please do. And then the red-haired chick is like, Please come to my room. Well, this is a nice place you got here. Also, I covered my body in chocolate. Uh, Why does he keep doing that? So the next day, the mean Zemura girl tries to train with Takahiro in the kiddie pool. But he wins over her by doing a judo move that somehow rips her clothes off, revealing a huge floppy. God damn it! So then a festival happens, and then the first choice of the game ever happens. After 16 goddamn hours! Yeah, I'm a slow reader, shut up. Go have fun with the warriors or the foxy sisters. Well, I dated Megan Fox once. This can't be much different. Or wait, was that Steven Seagal? 
But then the evil slime girl and her three sisters come in and break the party and she's all like We are here to destroy mankind! I wonder what it tastes like on peanut butter. Get in my jar! Ah! Way, way, way. So now the slimes are no longer mean and human and foxes can live in same existence. But Tak Takadada remembers the judo tournament he has to attend to back on earth, so he leaves through a wormhole without saying goodbye. I attended a judo championship once, I got my ass handed to me. So Takahiti becomes a martial arts champion because of what he learned from fighting little girls. Obviously. So he goes back to the foxy world and they're like, We missed you so much here. A true noble warrior always comes back. Also, I can't find my panties, have you seen them? Ah! So that's the story of the boy that could but never did. It had sadness, drama, boobies, action, romance and boobies. Wait, that's the stupidest tale I've ever heard in my life. I mean, why would you want to live in a world like that? <laughs> Silly. Now if you will excuse me, I'm going to Japan to find a lucky shrine. Thank you for joining us once again. This is Terry the Demigod saying CAKE! You got cake? Well come on, help a guy out, will you? Come on, cake! I mean, this is like two weeks old now, it's fucking disgusting! Why do I still have it? God damn it!